Hi guys, it's Cassie. Welcome to my channel if you're new. Welcome back if you're a season subscriber. I did a thing. Okay, not that long ago I was um, surfing around the internet as I tend to do and I came across this new pair of Balenciaga trainers that they're trying to throw at us and I was like, wow, I think that these may be the most horrifyingly disgusting pair of trainers I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> so, in natural Cassie fashion, I decided to buy them so that we could both see if these are really that bad. And if they're not, is there any saving? Are they actually pretty stylable? That kind of thing. So that is what we're going to try with the Balenciaga Zen sneaker. So these arrived, pop the trunk inside. Wow, thank you so much. We have a wonderful gray linen, almost like a linen-y, a linen Balenciaga bag. Fantastic. We love a good dust bag. How many are there? There's just the one. Tell you what, brands are getting stingy on dust bags these days, honestly. But anyway, okay. Okay. What? <laughs> excuse, excuse me? Have you ever heard of the brand Lonsdale? I think, oh, I think that they um, became famous for like boxing use. So these were 425 pounds. I got a size 39 because that's my size. So um, I will give you honest feedback on the sizing in case this is something you would like to go for. Though if it is something that is your style, we have more than one problem. This looks like a golf shoe. Like this looks like, but my dad's got golf shoes that are chicer than this. Like this has to be, oh, squash? Squash, what shoes do they wear in squash? I feel like this is like a, um, like a squash shoe. Okay, okay, let's dive down. All right, this is all leather. As it turns out, not leather. In fact, 100% polyurethane. This kind of uh, Balenciaga, you've got the BBs uh, backing up onto each other there. And um, well, this part is a wonderfully smooth, um, almost like a rubberized leather with the white embossed there. I'll, I'll give her that. Uh, we just have the one single shoelace. <laughs> Just, it just adds to the weirdness of this shoe. Um, so if you can see there, there is just the one shoelace with the with just the two holes there holding it together. The thing that frightens me the most about these shoes is Balenciaga came on the scene with the triple S. I was like, oh, how bulbous and ugly. Now I'm like, they're not the worst. Like I see people out here flexing in their Balenciaga triple S's, making it work, killing of a game, right? I'm now worried that this is a sign of things to come. Let's give it a chance. That's why I got these. I thought, let's give it a chance. If they truly are as awful and there is zero saving them, then they're going straight back because I can't. Very light, very agile, you know? I'll, I'll give credit where credit's due. There is a lot of flex in there, I'll give it that, you know, I feel like a little bit of river dance, wouldn't go amiss. I decided to wear all black because I was like, you know what, it's a white pair of shoes, let's give them a pop, give them a chance, let's not wear anything outrageous or over the top, you know. That I don't like, have you seen that, how the, how the, uh, this thing is separate and it's just there on the foot, just touching, just letting you know, not a fan. Not a fan. And you, you end up just kind of just tight. They should have made it a slip on to be fair. Did we need? Did we need? Here's the thing. I feel like they're not the worst, right? Like let's, let's give them a, a, just a smidge bit of credit. They're not the worst things ever. Are they hot fire? Far from it, okay? And I don't even think that there's an outfit that you could put together which would make these be like, ooh, she killed it. Setting it off, you know? But at the same time, they're not the worst, dare I say, dare I say. Um, I mean, they're definitely going back, you know? There's no way, you know? It's just two very different people. I mean, the one little bit, I mean, just make them a slip-on. You know, do we need that? 
Is that adding anything to the design? I actually didn't hate them as much as I thought I would and let me give them credit, they're very comfortable. You know, I feel like you could do a hell of a lot of squash in these shoes or whatever other sporting activity. All I'm saying is, they're not cute though. I don't know what, before anyone comes for me, for my sneaker choices, right? Each to their own. In my humble opinion, these are not attractive, okay? Are they absolutely hideous? Am I going to want to claw my own eyeballs out if I see anyone on the street trying to flex in these? No, but I am not about to be flexing in them. So uh, let me know your comments on these. Please let me know your comments. Um, I need to know how we all feel as a luxury addicted family about these. <laughs> Guys, I'm going to link to another video here in case you haven't already seen it and you're not quite finished with me yet. Guys, have an amazing morning, afternoon or evening wherever you are and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.